319. Um, this morning I went out and did my, uh, Munzee stuff, like, pronto. Um, well, not pronto, I guess. I was awake before 9. I made coffee. Had one cup of coffee. That's really all I'm running on right now is coffee and spite. I was joking that I need a, a jar of chocolate sauce and a whiskey sour. Um, I also joked about having those in my purse. That's how my day is going. Went out and did the monthly thing. I needed a thousand points, right? Got it. And then uh, my mom insisted on filling up my gas tank. And all is well. Just uh, kind of recovering from the stuff with Munzee this morning. Got my my uh, Munzee TikTok uploaded. And kind of sorting out my nails because they've been bad lately. So getting those all trimmed down. I made a little bit of effort at getting some of my clothes put away. I, I still have a few jeans and a pile of pajamas that I need to put up. Now I'm getting ready to go out. Yeah. I'm supposed to go see Black Widow, grab dinner, go uh go show somebody around the leatherworking goods store because that place is fun. So that's the plan. I need to get some split rings in two different sizes. I have a feeling I'm gonna be looking at conchos. And possibly cord, I don't know. I'm still a little shaky from yesterday, and then going out to get muddy stuff today has been a little bit much. Um, I did not weigh myself, I guess. It's been a while since I did outfit time. Um, I have not looked like this all day. I just put on the earrings and smudged my eyes up, put on lip gloss, because uh, I'm about to go out. But, um, this is one of those camis that has, has built-in stuff. Um, shorts. I was wearing my black sandals earlier, but I walked into some, um, swampy stuff, and I, I didn't want to, right, so I, I, I mess with my nails, and that includes my toes. Deswampified, right, so I'm going for, uh, white sneakers. It's been a long time since I wore these. I can't remember the last time that was. Now that my face has changed shape a little bit, I like them better. Um, get my hair out of my face. And, yeah, I guess I should take my vitamins before I go. So I don't forget when I get home. Because I'll remember my evening meds, but I won't remember my vitamins. I'm going to Muya's. I'm getting fries with the, the really, really good chili queso. Green chili queso, I think. Low energy. Oh, there's a special Muncie I'm going to go grab before I go do that, though. It's going to be a fun evening. I'll try to get a picture of whatever burger I wind up getting. Well, it's um, it's 10.50, and I uh, had a great time out, went to uh, Tandy, and I left my bag in the car, I showed you get, or I would show you guys everything that I got. S jump rings, uh, no, split rings, um, for like making keychains. What else? Uh, I picked up a stamp, I don't remember what kind it was. I, r I really don't remember. I just know I picked up a stamp that looked cool. Um, got to show somebody around who'd never been there before. Talk about how um, certain stuff gets made. Uh, the process of stamping stuff. And then I um, went to a burger place in the area that everybody likes. And I'm doing the thing with my hair again. Um, I skipped milkshake. Because they didn't have any non-dairy options. Man, this looks better with, when I'm not on. Looks better from a better angle than this. I had what was it, a ranch burger with Swiss. There were veggies on it too. Uh, fries and queso that they have there is just phenomenal. And we got to the theater just the right time. To grab popcorn and go watch Black Widow. And Black Widow was great. I, I don't know what the deal is. Why it was available a day early. <laughs> Still confused about that. A uh, fantastic movie. It's really nice to see our primary girl Avenger have her own movie. Um, she's a compelling character. There, there's so much there. 
really fantastic. Although from a scientific standpoint, they they do mention in the movie, uh, spoiler, where this is just a surgical thing, that the uterus and ovaries are removed in these in the, in the widows that the girls who go through the red room. From a science standpoint, for these girls to, to develop normally and be uh, chemically stable and not have crazy mood swings from a surgical hysterectomy, you know, a, a surgical menopause brought about by the hysterectomy, they probably need to stay on estrogen supplements for a very long time. These girls would have been going through menopause symptoms when they had that sterilization done. From a, a medical standpoint, if the uterus comes out, there's no reason why they would have to take the ovaries as well. The ovaries could just stay there. There'd be a lot, I mean, obviously there'd be no pregnancy risk because there's nowhere for a fetus to gestate, so they could just remove the ovary, or not the ovary, the uh, uterus. Boom. You, you still have the ovaries to regulate your estrogen. There's also a slight medical realization. I want to say it's a uh, second Captain America movie. Where it's, it's Cap and Black Widow running around. Uh, and she says that the Winter Soldier had, uh, had shot her. And she makes that comment about bye-bye bikinis. She had actually pulled up her shirt just a little bit. So you could see where she'd gotten hit. And just, uh, my brain's just going to the different uh, variations of ways that you can remove the uterus. I mean, I know someone in my family who had to have a full hysterectomy done in her early 20s. And this was awful for her. It was a, it was a early menopause kind of a situation. Um, with the doctor had given her like a really, really ridiculously high amount of estrogen that the pharmacist said sounded incompetent. And then, um, when she had that done, same scar as C-section. So the only other option, if Natasha doesn't have a C-section looking scar, as they went in, they just pulled it all out. I'm also just thinking normal puberty development. Like, like, that's just, um, yeah, I gotta get my brain onto something else, but it's not totally unfathomable, especially if these girls were just, you know, given estrogen, but that seems like a detail they'd leave out. No problem. So, so there's like various ways that could have gone, but, but, um, just, they're not, they're not wrong about any of it. Except, of course, the concept behind it, it. That was totally wrong to do, but medically and scientifically speaking, it's not that far out there. David Harbour was really good in this movie. I, I really liked him from Stranger Things. I, I was really sad, uh, how that worked out for him with Stranger Things, but, um, I didn't know he could do an accent that well. That was some crazy stuff. That, that was good, though. And, of course, Scarlett Johansson totally killed it. So, just awesome movie. Just really great movie. I'm really, really tired, and I need to get this stuff off my face. Or I'm going to wake up with my eyes all irritated and red and puffy and gross. So, I'm going to do that. Um, At one point, while I was watching the movie, I did this. Because I always mess with my ears and I hit my earring and just pulled out and landed on my shoulder. And I realized the back of it had just fallen down behind the chair. So I need to replace the earring back, but I didn't lose the earring. Thank goodness. I didn't realize they looked that good on me these days, but I don't know. I really slimmed down as somebody very loudly reminded me today. <laughs> Uh, somebody who hadn't really seen me, except for very, very bundled up. 
in the past year or so, uh, more than a year, and just, it's been a long time since they've, they've, they've seen the shape of me, and that shape has changed greatly, like, a lot. It's been considerable. I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of anime while I try to clean up the pajamas and jeans and stuff, and, and and nail stuff that I left out all over my bed and start to get myself sorted out in a more productive fashion and try to keep up my streak of an earlier morning and earlier evening because I feel like I was more productive today and I would think I was more productive yesterday as well only I overdid it yesterday so more like today would be good and then I will just uh get back in here to, to edit and stuff probably tomorrow. Okay, it's 12.46 and I did not watch any anime. And instead I ended up in a rabbit hole about thalidomide and other interesting medical procedures because that's where my brain went. Um, I did get all the stuff cleared off my bed. I got the stuff off of my face. I took my medications. My evening medications, anyway. And um, flipped my pill bottle over. And I think I'm done for the night. Um, tomorrow, I got, I got two things I want to do. Uh, I want to, well, okay, okay, we'll make it three. I want to do one, go as light as possible on the whole money see thing. It should be a super quick, done kind of a thing because it'll be the first day of the z -up cycle. And I should be able to keep things to a minimum. Um, I want to focus really hard on getting um, my car cleaned out and maybe start work on John's room. Um, I'm going to do a thing where I keep myself focused by setting a 20 minute timer because I mean you can do just about anything for 20 minutes except maybe push-ups. Well some people can. Um, so I was like yes I can put up with whatever for 20 minutes so the putting up with whatever that's Clean the car in 20 minutes, spurts. Clean John's room in 20 minutes, spurts. Rest when I have to. Argue with myself about what have to is so that I don't continue going after the 20 minutes when I shouldn't be. That kind of thing. So there's my goals for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to edit this tomorrow morning, probably. Um, but for tonight, I'm done. Thanks for sharing my day with me.